Welcome, Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is Miss Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid, so for you, this could resonate past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. This is for the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For your messages and guidance, please, what needs to be known? seen and understood. Okay. This has been a very popular card today. This is like very eight of swords type energy for me. So we have message of concern, imprisonment, thoughts, and mature woman here. So, and then we have main female. Really interesting. So, I mean, this could be a very specific reading this kind of week. Um, if it uh, doesn't resonate, please check your other placements. But I feel like there's two specific women here involved in the situation. I feel like somebody feels kind of stuck. There's some kind of message that uh, is kind of alarming to somebody. And it's interesting because we have like this, what looks like, a, like an older person here. Then we have the mature woman here. And then we have him in thoughts about this person, which looks a lot like this woman right here. So it feels like we've got a triangle of people here. And again, it does feel like a very specific kind of situation. Okay. All right, let's see here. Clear messages and guidance. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? Let's look at your energy first and foremost. Know that some of the energies can be flipped or reversed. It's very general. Cross watchers are always welcome here. Your energy. King of Cups. So... Maybe feeling um, heartache and pain. Okay, disappointment in a situation. Ten of Pentacles under here. Somebody's married. Again, male, female, we don't read specific genders here. We're just reading energies. Um, but, you know, I am seeing the King of Cups here. So you could be this King of Cups. You could be thinking about this King of Cups. This is water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. This is, you know, King of Cups is somebody who's kind of loving and happy a lot of the times. But in this deck, this is somebody who just looks very sad to me. Like, does he look happy? No, he looks hurt. He looks like he's in pain. It looks like he is suffering or struggling with something. That he's highly emotional. So you could see your person that way or you could be feeling that way. Uh, maybe because someone is in a relationship. Because, I mean, I do feel like there's a triangle of people here. Now, not all, obviously, all of you are actually going to be in a third-party relationship where there's a physical person involved as far as, like, a relationship. But there could be, like, a mother or somebody or like, even a boss that's kind of constricting the two from being together. Again, there's, like, an energy here, like, wanting to reach out but it's like you're separated from this person with the lovers that's gemini energy it's like you may be at a distance or communicating with this person online okay and then their energy their energy okay there, there's that ten of pentacles again this person's married okay but they're or some kind of family dynamic but it feels like they're married okay it's like take what resonates it's like they're uh, in a long-term committed relationship, they have family, they have like a house, they're like, have some kind of structure there. Okay, the mutual energy between the two of you, we have Page of Cups, love. Now, you may even have a child with this person, but there's love here. Um, it's like friendly, affectionate, sweet, romantic type energy toward each other, Page of Cups. Some of, some of you, there may be like an apology that's due or like owed. The Obstacle. Two of Wands, somebody choosing a direction, somebody waiting for a signal, somebody needing to decide what they want for their future and take action towards it, somebody being sure of what they want, somebody's unhappy in their relationship or situation, that King of Cups just looks gloomy to me, doesn't look happy. Okay, let's see, what is their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and potential actions towards you? thoughts they feel stuck this person feels trapped this person feels in prison they feel like their hands are tied they feel like they can't get out they feel like they can't break free they feel like they cannot move forward they feel confined they feel stuck they feel like there's no way out they don't know what to do or how to move forward they feel like they've got too much to do or too much expectation like for example, we have like an energy of like you know, um, a partnership, children, ancestors, grandparents, aunts, uncles, like a whole bunch of people who are just kind of like in the background of this relationship. Yeah, we have the King of Swords here. Uh, and I feel like this is somebody 
who's trying to be really logical in regards to their situation. King of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It's like somebody who's trying to kind of suppress their feelings or their desires because they feel like they can't get out of it. They're trying to be, you know, logical, not thinking with their heart, but with their head. They could be worried about, you know, their reputation. There could be a legal contract. In their feelings, we have the lover's card. Like I said, Gemini energy. It's like they feel this relationship with you, but they can't get to you. They're stuck. They're confined. It's like watching you from a distance, maybe watching you from online. Um, this could be a long distance relationship for some of you, but or it's like they're watching you, like you're communicating online um, with the lover's energy. It's like so close, but yet so far yearning for each other, looking at each other's photos. Uh, strong Leo energy here. Could also be Sagittarius Aries. But it's like, there's like you make them happy. You're like the sun. What is their intentions or what they feel needs to happen here? Seven of Pentacles, like waiting growth, waiting for something to develop or change in the actions. They're trying. They're going to give this time. Their actions. We have Nine of Cups. Under the deck is the Hair Font, Taurus energy, the Queen of Wands again, and the Five of Wands. They're going to be judged by the people around them, you know, because they're in some kind of contract, like they're studying, trying to learn, trying to figure things out. This can't represent a marriage. Um, somebody feels maybe very jealous or spiteful. Somebody creating like arguments and conflict around them. Somebody judging them because of their position or their responsibilities. Like somebody feels confound or stuck. And it's interesting because it's like this person doesn't, really feel happy and I think that you sense that I think that you're emotional about this too like this mutual energy is like sweet and like there's no how do I put it it's like just pure innocence sweet love it's like what you feel for each other it's like just like unconditional pure love it's not tainted with anything it's like this energy of like needing to like have some kind of signal or kind of understanding but it feels like there's blocks in this like somebody's like in a relationship they're in a long-term committed family dynamic it's like they're stuck there this person like really overthinks they're trying to be logical rational about their decision their money their material things they feel they're deep in their thoughts though it's like they're they're thinking about you Somebody may have saw something or overheard something that made them concerned or made them worried or you may have seen this. Um, but it's like they do feel like you're their soulmate, you're their other half, you're the person that they're supposed to be with, be in a committed long-term relationship with. But it's an energy of like we have to wait, we, we can't rush this. You know, like a pregnancy, it takes time. If a child is born prematurely, if a relationship is born prematurely, it's not going to survive. You know, it's symbolic of that. It's like we have to wait and be patient here. Their actions, Nine of Cups, it's like they're, they're going to get what they want. It's like they're going to go after the things that they want. But it's like right now they're trying to be patient and practical about some things. And it feels like there's distance here. Um, like there's a need to connect and communicate. Like this person may tell you some of these things, something that may alarm you about their current relationship or their current situation or what, how they feel confound or like, um, confined. That's what I mean. Confined or stuck in it. Um, they're learning again, the hair font's like a teacher. It's like they're learning that they're investigating, trying to figure things out, trying to figure out how to free themselves from a situation or, um, uh, something like that. All right. Let us see here. Like, the Nine of Cups is like, you know, a, a dream, an ambition, an idea. You know, it's like wish fulfillment, a wish that's granted. Getting what they want, making it happen. It may require a lot of work. It may take a lot of time, but it's like they're still sticking to it. Under the deck, we do have new love, which says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Again, it's like there's this um, older energy here. Again, male, female doesn't necessarily matter. Then we have somebody here who's kind of deep in thought about this person who's like the primary person on their mind. Um, we have you deserve love. You are lovable. 
And then we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments, which is definitely saying here that this person understands that they deserve to truly be happy and have what their heart really desires. And, you know, it's like it's releasing the past and healing from it so that they can actually be happy and move forward in a in a pure loving relationship. They don't feel fulfilled. They may have material things, but they don't feel fulfilled in a relationship or situation. It doesn't matter what material things they have around them. They just don't feel happy. We have truth, and someone else got this card too. I can't remember if it was Capricorn or was it? I can't remember. Um, who was Libra? Uh, speak from your heart. It is the only thing worth listening to with truth. We have third um, throat chakra and turquoises. The stone here. You may want to screenshot this or use it uh, in your own meditations. Maybe look into some um, throat chakra work, but. Somebody needed to speak their truth. Somebody needed to speak up here. Um, speak from your heart is the only thing worth listening to. Somebody really needs to take that time to kind of understand what is it they want and live an authentic, truthful life. They're not happy. They're not fulfilled. It doesn't matter what material things are surrounded by them. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment. You know, they just feel stuck. They just feel weighed down every day. They want to, they want love. They need to understand that they deserve that. To go after it, to speak to their heart, their true desires, and to go after the things that are going to make them happy. Having their wishes granted. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you so much for those of you that do generously send in donations. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.